Hi ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Matthew Babette from Babette Brothers Real Estate here. Just making a quick video in relation to when is the best time to sell your property. A common misconception and a common objection that we're getting from a lot of people is, I wanna wait till the market increases or the market is going up before selling my property. They think that they're gonna get more for their property this way and not realizing that they're actually gonna pay more for the next property and they're actually gonna lose out on the transaction in the end. This is not the same for everybody. Everybody's situation is different, particularly if you're only going to sell, it doesn't apply to you but I'll just go through it now briefly so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'll just explain it to you on a, on a simple graph here. So we have the first line of the graph, which is the time. So time being the amount of time it takes to sell your property and also the dollar value, how much you're gonna get for your property. So if you're living in the southeastern suburbs you know, of Melbourne, the average price might be, let's just say hypothetically, uh, $500,000. By the time your property sells, let's say it takes two to three months to sell. By the time the settlement has happened, you've got the money in your bank and you're ready to purchase your next property. It's going to be obviously three months or so down the track. That would mean that the prices have gone up. So let's say the prices in that area are now $520,000. If it was a longer settlement, it took you longer to sell and it was like three or four months, something like that, the prices would now be higher. They'd be something like $540,000. So you can see simply here, you're selling your property at $500,000. In three months when you're purchasing again, the average price is now $520,000. You've simply lost $20,000 on this transaction and you're out of pocket. On the reverse side to that, if you're selling when the market is actually on the way down, let's say you sell for $500,000, takes two to three months to sell, you've got the money in your bank, you're ready to go. In two or three months, the price is now $480,000. In three or four months, the price is now $460,000. So you can see simply here that the longer you take before you buy your next property, you're actually gonna make, make money. So you sold that 500, the average property uh, price in the area now $480,000, you've saved $20,000 on that transaction. So thinking about if you're thinking about selling and you're not sure about when's the best time to sell, please contact us. We'll give you some specific information in relation to your situation and we'll get you sold for a great price. Thank you very much.